All right, so number two. Is the camera up? Beautiful. All right, guys, welcome to the live stream. I'm so sorry about all these tech issues. Hopefully you can hear us clearly. But we have got um, a full licensed driver about to start this first live driving lesson. Thomas, how you going? Hey guys. Say good hello good. to everyone. How are we going? Um, so just give a quick spiel about uh, when we trained together. So we, we started training when you were 16. Yes, so I, as soon as I got my learners, um, I, I think I had one lesson with um, Vic Rhodes, yeah. and then straight after that, I had a manual lesson, and then straight after that, I started uh, my lessons with uh, Courtney. And um, I think I did majority of my hours were with Courtney, mm. um, and we drove, I think, uh, automatic and manual. Mm. Um, and at the time, I had a, uh, 2007 or 2008 Honda um, Civic Type R, mm -hmm. which was manual. Yeah, um, awesome car. And yes, I loved yep. that car. And then, um, yes, so I learnt uh, manual in that car. Yeah. So, yeah, and then I've been driving for about three years now. Yeah. yeah. So, Tom got his P's with me. We went for your license. You got it first yes. go. Yes. You went in the Type R with the tester only because that's yes. how we roll. Yeah. Uh, also, Tom was so good in the manual and is still so good in the manual that I let him drive my 2001 Holden oh. Monaro at the time. We actually drove it around Carlton. So, that was a dream. Uh, then you got your full license. And do you yes. mind explaining what happened, though, with, with uh, a collision recently? Yes. So, I recently had a collision. Um, the I think the beginning of the year. Yeah. Um, I was on a quite a busy uh, intersection on uh, Melville Road. Mm. Um, uh, it came to uh, a major intersection. Um, I can't remember the street exactly. It was the intersection from Melville and I think Albion, Albion. Street. Yeah. Um, I was turning right uh, and I was in the middle of the intersection. Um, the lights went amber and then red. Um, and uh, a driver uh, went through the amber light and I proceeded to turn mm. um, and as I was turning we uh, collided and I got t-boned um, yeah. and uh, yeah it led to the car being ridden off um, and uh, eventually uh, it came to the conclusion that I was at fault mm. um, I was at fault because I was in the middle of the intersection mm. and I had to because I'm in the middle of the intersection I'm considered a hazard and I need to give way to all vehicles. Mm. Um, regardless if someone um, uh, runs an amber, that you're still having to give way. Exactly. So I failed to uh, give way and I've learned my lesson. So every time that I'm turning right at a major intersection, I wait until the light is... Just wait for this car to drive right. past because it's going to block the sound. Yeah. Yep, go on. Yeah, so um, just as I was saying, like whenever I come to an intersection now, um, from learning that, um, I, I know now to wait until the light is complete red and then um, execute my turn. Yeah, um, I'm just judging the vehicles and, and stuff. So yes, well, yeah. we're going to go to that intersection today and yes. have a crack at it a couple of times and then we're just going to drive around and do a bit of a refresher course, I guess, yeah? Exactly. Yeah, awesome. All right, I'm going to go put this into the back and get this cracking, guys. So we've got a bit of a mount uh, system happening here and I'll just get it into place and hopefully that was okay and everyone could hear us and there we go and guys sorry we won't we'll just quickly get to the questions now I'll put the TTS on the quality is OP nice <laughs> <laughs> is that also because you had to cross lanes of traffic and the other cars was not there was only it was a two lane two lanes um yeah two lanes wasn't it yes two lanes yeah. all right how's this looking guys just let us know in chat welcome to cudde driving and channel you absolute legends check out the about section https colon double forward slash www.twitch.tv forward slash crew to driving forward slash about for everything you need to know from commands to sub perks and more. Enjoy your time here and shout out if you need anything. Uh, your seat on the clip. You idiot, 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 zero, two, zero, two. All right, guys, let's get this going. Yeah, I'm just going to secure the laptop in place. Your seat on the clip. I'm just going to put it over here. Nine, nine, the laptop one, six, is three, one. the laptop is the baby of the day. <laughs> What's that? I said the laptop's like the baby of the day. Yeah, it's gonna like keep it strapped in. Back, we're gonna strap it in. <clears throat> Hello again. 
All right, guys, try to. Um. All right, let's get this going. Hopefully, everything's all good and it lasts for as long as we can have it. Um, the GoPro, so we'll drive around till about. 11 o'clock so Tom before we start yes put the car into the accessories um, function so the keys are in no, have I got the keys? you've got the keys no I, I don't you, no are they in the ignition no they're not hang on you might you oh, you've no, probably just, got sorry. them yeah so yeah. so we just want to go one up to the accessories so remember how to put it into accessories so that's on yep yeah. so just accessories and set make sure your seating's all set are you comfortable in your seating first so remember yes. we are going to treat this like a uh, a, a, a normal lesson with yeah. a learner permit driver as well. It is a refresher, but Definitely. adjust your seating, get comfortable. So the first thing we always want to do is set up our seating and make sure we're comfortable in our seating. Now the GoPro is going to move around, guys. Okay, I'm pretty, yep, I'm pretty set. Beautiful day as well today. Looks like it might rain a little bit. Um, awesome. And uh, make sure, so hands on the steering wheel as well, nine and three thumbs up. Yep. So we talk about doing our thumbs up because if our thumbs are tucked in and the steering wheel yep. gets thrown, they can get snapped. All right, so we always talk about that with defensive driving. And uh, now that you've done that, you can set up your mirrors. So what do you remember about setting up your mirrors? Because this is the thing as well, guys. Tom learned with me when he was 16. Yes. And my, <clears throat> my um, uh, the way of teaching has changed over time and evolved. So things might be different, but. Yes. So I think from my understanding, when, I, when we first started, was yep. that you want to see um, the side of your car in the mirror. So yep. just this, the side of your car, uh, so we mirror? that's all right so yeah. we use door handles as a reference point right? yes the door handles. yeah, yeah. so front for this vehicle it's a front door handle and you experiment for any driver experiment with the door handles front and back so front door handle and it'll should do it with accessories on so your mirrors on the side there yeah, yeah. no worries yet yeah we'll catch you soon mate okay there are no redeems on as well guys um, we want this stream to be fairly clean now you can see Tom's got his license up there um, as well in the corner of the screen all right so Beautiful. yeah so front so front door handle bottom left corner of the mirror yep. and we only need to see a sliver of the body in the mirror yes now some people Idiot teach Back. all right yeet sweet as some people i won't pause all the time for for the chat yeah. some people teach um to push the mirrors all the way out till the body disappears which is actually not good you can create a blind spot between your internal mirror and your side mirror where you can't see vehicles transferring between the mirrors, like a motorbike, for instance. Yeah. So we still want to see a sliver of the body of the vehicle, just a bit, and that helps with road positioning and uh, judging where your vehicle is. Yeah. Awesome. All right, so we're going to go through the controls of the vehicle. So it's important to understand all the controls of your vehicle, whether yes. you're a, a learner permit driver, a probationary, a full license driver. Yeah. We hire cars, we get into different cars, we need to figure out all the controls. So leave the car on. Yeah. Another thing to note, is the warning lights when yes. they come on, the they'll disappear lights. when you start the car. Yes. Any warning lights that are still on means there's something wrong or something's going on. Exactly. So let's go through our uh, headlight system. So yes. per parking lights first, so putting into your parking lights. Yeah, good. Then yeah. low beam lights, L lock your high beam lights. So we want to lock our high beams. Do you remember how to do that? In, in, yep. Yeah, hang That's on. all right. So every vehicle is different, but yeah. can you see the high beam symbol on the top? Yes. Okay, yeah. so which way is it pointing? Which uh, way is the arrows pointing? Uh, inwards. Yes, so yes. pull towards you will give it a flash. Oh, sorry. Yep. That's alright. Pulling towards yep. you will give it a we'll flash, flash and then push and then away. Yes. We'll lock it. And how do you tell the high beam lights are the active? Blue, blue light. Yep. High, beams, high beam symbol is a uh, line straight ahead because your lights are lifted. Yes. Whereas the low beam light <clears> is the uh, low beam light is the lines um, dipped Dip. because it's your um, uh, headlights are, are dipped. Yes. And when you get fined with your high beams on, the fine pe and penalty is failed to dip headlights if you get fined for your high beams. Now, do you remember the rule with high beams? When is it illegal to use your high beams? You, when you can't you use your high beams? Um, ooh, what can I remember? So, so high beams are really... fog? Uh, no, no, so high beams are really bright and dazzling. Yes. So when are they illegal? Uh, when... Like when you have another car that's yeah, coming up in front of exactly. you. Exactly. Like less close, less than 200 meters. Than 200 yeah, meters. yeah. All right. So okay. unlock your high beams. Turn the headlights off for now. Yeah. So they're not. So just to note, guys, for everyone in the chat as well, flashing your high beams at someone is actually illegal. A lot of people do it as a thank you. You're not. We shouldn't be flashing our high beams. It is illegal when you're flashing people up ahead. So headlights on. Uh, sorry, sorry. With uh, with that, you could turn your headlights on and off to thank someone. You just yes. go on off. Low on beams off. on. Low beams off. Okay. However. Do you remember what I taught you about driving with headlights on? 
during the day. Yes, so you keep them on uh, low beam. Yep, all, correct. All, at all times. At all times, 24-7. Why was that? Uh, turn them off for now, keep yeah. them off. Uh, you're more visible uh, with your low beams yep. uh, on um, constant. So we're more visible, less likely to be involved in a collision with our headlights on low beam during the day. Excellent. Yeah. Let's go through the wipers we might yes. use them today. So front window washer, we want to spray the front window with water. Yeah. Excellent. And to tell again what I talk to my students about oh, is the pull towards, towards, uh, pull towards, it says it there up the top. Yes, the arrow. There's a symbol that looks like a Macca's, the Macca's arches. That's what I call yeah. it, the McDonald's oh, arches. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so rear wiper, so you twist it all the way up for those Macca, for the Macca's arches. McDonald's, Perfect. guys, a good way to reference it, and then turn that off. Excellent. Yeah. Um, let's. So with our different functions here, we've got mist, so we're gonna go up for that. That is just manual control, so, okay. um, so where it says mist, so it's actually not the dial, so everyone gets confused uh, by this. Yeah. It's up with oh. the whole lever. Yes. Okay. Yeah. okay, then let's go down to the first setting, which is intermittent. Yes. Intermittent. Excellent. All right, so what does intermittent do? Uh, intermittent mm -hmm. is just the, uh, it'll be on constant. Yeah. But just, yeah. Pausing. Pausing. So yeah. that's what this dial does. Yes. So, I don't know, not every vehicle has it, Tom. Mm. So yeah. at the moment, it's on the quickest uh, pause, so around about okay. two, three seconds. So if yeah. you dial that all the way down to the thin white line, you're going to get a slower pause slower around about 13 seconds. Yes, yeah. You can see so there every it's car's taking different. Long. Every, every vehicle's different. Yeah, Some just don't have, have the dial. Exactly. Some yeah. just have intermittent. You go down or intermediate. You go yes. down, and it just turns it on for one setting. Okay. Let's go down to the next two settings: low and high. Not with that. Yep. So low and high. Yeah, low, exactly. And yeah. then high. And then high. And then with that yeah. knowledge, turn the wipers off. One more. Yeah. yeah. One more up because it's on int. Yes. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yes. Yes. So people get confused yeah. by this stuff, yeah? Mm. And in a newer vehicle, like the Lexus when we drove it, man, yeah. what the hell, that, the Lexus LC500 all yeah. over the place. Um, front window demister, so locating that, that's really important. Uh, yeah. Front window demister, window yes, heater just, over yeah. there, excellent. Yep, so we need to know that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Is now most manufacturers don't have the taillights on when parkers are on. No, uh, re really, I didn't know that about parking lights. I thought that was daytime running lights only. Uh, rear window demister, back window. Yes. Good. And then hazard lights, emergency lights. Yes. Yep, good. When would you utilize the hazard lights, emergency lights? What, what are they used for? Um, whenever you're considered a hazard. So, uh, say you're having... Um, like you've had a burst tire, yep. for instance, and you're on the freeway yep. and you're pulling into an emergency line, I would put on my hazards. Um, same goes even if I was uh, at a busy uh, road and uh, mm. if I had to have an emergency stop, I'd put my yep. hazards on. There's a couple other times we can use it, so it's not just for emergencies, although yep. they are hazard lights, emergency lights. Yes. Um, there's another time we can do it. They're, they're, they're for, it's for visibility. Yes. And um, what I educate my students on is when reversing. So okay. say you're in a car park and you're reversing out of a parking bay, but you've got two massive trucks next to you or vans and you can't see anything. Yes. Chuck your hazard lights on. Totally fine. Yes. The law states you can utilize your hazards when you're slow moving. Yeah. Yeah. So we're slow moving when we're reversing. It's more dangerous. We've got less visibility. Yes. Nothing wrong with putting a hazard on. You're backing out of a laneway, out of an alleyway. It's dark. You can't see. Yes. Make yourself more visible. Um, some people don't think that it's there's no point. Is it also, but nothing wrong with you doing that. Is it also true that um, you can use? Oh, mm. so. Okay, no worries, Yeet. So, oh, take care. Uh, you can use your hazards uh, for thanking truck drivers if you're on a Sometimes, highway. yeah, they use it as communication. Yeah, I know they do that in, in uh, I believe, China maybe. I can't remember, but yeah. Okay. Um, also, recycled air. So, we want to close off the air vents. We don't want the air from outside. Yep, good. Yep. And what is, uh, when would we not want the air from outside? Um, fumes or like uh, s um, smoke if you're on a freeway. Um, if you wanted, yeah, just recirculate yeah, exactly. the air Polluted the air, polluted air, yeah, great. Yeah, polluted air, yeah. Do you know what this does in the mirror? Uh, is that for adjusting? So pull it towards you. If I pull it towards so, you, oh, it gives you, yes. Well, okay. if you've got lights behind you, so it gives you a bit of a reflection and you don't see the direct vision of headlights at night time. So if there's someone okay. behind you really bright, yes. you can flick it towards you and you'll see that reflection. You won't see the lights directly and it doesn't uh, impair your vision with your, with your eyes or hurt okay. your eyes. Yes. Awesome. Um, all right, so start the vehicle. Okay. If it starts. Yes. <laughs> headlights on to low beam. So remember, we always turn our headlights on to low beam as soon as we start the vehicle. Yes. We drive with headlights on 24-7, day and night. 
Uh, it's a more defensive, advanced way of driving. The Europeans do it, we're gonna do it. We're less yeah. likely to be involved in a collision. Everyone should do it. Do it, please. Yes. It's not illegal, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it. Yes. Um, and you're gonna be less likely to be involved in a collision, why not? Now also your rear tail lights are lit up as well. Yes. Potential to avoid a rear end collision. Now you can adjust the lighting in, in your instrument cluster here. Do you know how to do that? Um, no. <laughs> no, so some vehicles have it, some, some every vehicle has I'd it. Sure. So, no, so over where the right air vent is, look down there, there's a light bulb. Oh, yes, yep, dial it down. Dial you can see that and dial oh, it back beautiful. up. Yep. All right, Tom, why is it important we understand all of the controls of the vehicle? And I'm talking about everything in the vehicle. Um, controls. It's important to have a complete full knowledge of your vehicle so that you can um, utilize everything um, uh, correctly. Yeah. And, um, and, while yeah, driving. this is very important whilst driving. While yes, driving. While driving. So yeah. you don't get distracted. Now, and you know what distract. it's like. You've got the Lexus. Yes. You've driven the Lexus LC500. Yes. That thing is distracting as with it the controls. Very, very distracting. Yes. So we need to understand everything before we take it for a drive. Where are the demisters? Yeah, right. What do I do with the wipers? Yes. How do I use my headlights? How do I adjust this? How do I do that? We're not going to go through everything because we need to get moving. Uh, yeah. We are delayed. We want to do some driving and, and not bore the chat. So let's go guys, we're gonna head out. So we're exiting the curb, Tom, prepare the car. Yes. When it's safe, exit the curb and do what you need to do to, to do this safely. Okay. And take your time with everything. No, no stress, no rush, all right? Yep, good, so mirror and head check, excellent. Why do we need to head check? Uh, it's, important, blind spot. it's important to head check your blind spot uh, to make sure that there is no um, left si uh, cyclists. Yep. Um, and even pedestrians. Uh, could be walking beside the car. Yes. Might well, just put the windows up a little bit. Yep. Just so that there's not too much road yes. noise. Yes. Yeah. Let us know, guys, if uh, the air and stuff from outside is causing any issues. Um, at the end of the street will turn right. Okay. So if I don't say anything, Tom, just yes. continue straight, yep. follow the course of the road. Actually put your window up. Okay. Yeah, because it's, yeah, nice. All right. So yeah, so remember, give way. Can we get an exclamation mark, give way? Awesome, Rue, thank you very much. Appreciate the feedback. Good. So there, guys, we, were, we had a giveaway sign and a giveaway line. Sid, giveaway means to slow down and if necessary, stop to avoid a collision. That's what giveaway means. Thank you, moderator. Good. So lots of hazards going on, lots of things happening. You saw up ahead, someone was trying to turn out of that intersection. Yeah. One thing with that, I want you on know, uh, there, Tom, is yeah. you know what that intersection's like. You yes. know what it's like being on the other end, probably. Definitely. And it's tough. Yeah, it's very so tough. So we need to be empathetic so, towards yes. people sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes not so much, being empathetic towards people when yeah. they're doing the wrong thing. But they might have pulled came out and been like, so learn a driver, yes. no headlights on, no RACV, come on, mate. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> They, they can do them, we do us, we're different. Um, I'm just having a laugh there. So again, scanning ahead is a yes. really big part of driving. So looking ahead, we need to be looking at least 12 seconds ahead because don't forget yep. we've got reaction time as well. Yes, so I'm judging yep. what's coming up. So there. intersection, this is a really big one. Stop, don't block the intersection. Make sure you can fit across. Yes. I so this is across. a really big one as well that people do. They block intersections. It's actually illegal. We're not supposed to move across up if we can't fit across the intersection. If we can't, because it's blocked up ahead, right? Yes. So that's really important as well. It's good. So don't assume that they're going to turn. They might give way. Yeah. So that's being, you know, uh, assuming on the road is something that the average driver does. This guy can't see us, so we don't know if he's going to walk around the vehicle. Things like that. You draw up scenarios in your head yeah. that was to what might happen. Use your left mirror to judge your distance from the vehicle, parked vehicles, and maybe you need to move over a little bit. And then, yeah, exactly. Just judging that. Yes. Gap. So the traffic light will turn right. Okay. Yes, so this is the intersection. So remember the mirrors as well, Tom, back when we yes. first started when we were six, when I was 16. Yeah. Um, so this is a little bit close okay. and the judgment here, I don't know if I, what I used to say to you. Do you remember what I taught you in terms of distance from vehicles when, when stopped behind um, vehicles? I, 
uh, see under the bonnet. Is that right? Yeah, I probably yeah, did. I, I probably said, did. See under the bonnet. I changed that. I don't okay. teach that anymore. Yes. See, guys, this is really cool because when Tom Tom started with me, he's sixteen. How old are you now? Twenty three. Twenty three, right? That so, and I was I was young as well. I was just a young gun, just started becoming a driving instructor. Now my teachings have changed. I don't teach that way anymore. Okay. I'll tell you why. Every car is designed differently. Yes. So if you I judge by their bumper, yeah. it, it's, it, you're going to end up in a different position each time. So I say motorbike lens. Motorbike so lens. we want to push up just before the center and hold. And remember yes. this, don't rush it. Don't worry about people behind you. Yeah. Stop before the middle and hold. Good. All right, so now you look for a safe gap. When it's yes. safe, start to roll, start to prepare. Take it easy, right lane when entering. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. And when we drive on the tram tracks, here's the thing, I can't remember what I taught you when you were 16, yes. but what I teach now, and I don't know if I did it, I probably did it prior, is driving to the right side, yes. so near the white line. So only if you're able to do so. We can't always drive to the white line because sometimes it might be a, a, a white, a, a painted island in the middle, like, yes. a, like something thicker yep. that's not allowing us to push to the right side. Yes. There's a reason why we do it like this, why I teach it like this anyway, and I'll explain it. So just be mindful of traffic lights coming off the gas yeah. beforehand, just in case it changes. Be, de be defensive. Yes. Um, we drive this way because. Do you know why? What, what would your thoughts be? Why would we drive to the to the far further right than because uh, you're keeping tracks? keeping the left lane uh, clear because this is a two lane. There's road. a left lane next to us, so um, that you know we. Yep. Good. And we, avoiding the train tracks themselves. We're avoiding the tram tracks. Tram correct. Track, sorry. Yep. So legally speak, legally we cannot overtake now, so you're yes. just going to have to kick back and wait. Come yeah. up behind this vehicle a motorbike, motorbike length lanes. distance, yeah. maybe stay at the white line because you might not make it across yes. and just chill. Yep. All good. When they go, start to prepare and then off you go and it's good to check mirrors exactly. Yeah. So it's great to see you check the left mirror there because what happens? A uh, car could be merging. Car comes up flying in, yeah, yeah. Comes in, tries to get in front. That's right. So we, on the left side of us, we can't see that lane as much, right? Yeah. Um, so you're better off keeping to the right. You can see the opposite traffic so much better. So if they come over, you yes. could you could avoid the situation. So in this one, again, maybe just chill. Yes. All right. Good. That guy's going to go. Yeah. You can tell he's going to get hit by this car. Yeah. Watch. Ooh. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Oh, Why? That was Why? narrow. Just give him... That the, was the, the poor narrow. Ute driver, he can't see, yeah. man. And he'd already... Like, give him a break. Yeah. That was, oh, that was that was, that was great. On that was great footage. Yeah. Someone, someone clip that. <laughs> someone clip, definitely clip, clip that. that. Yeah. Clip it. Clip <laughs> it. That was incredible. Yeah, good, oh good stuff. I knew something. You know, it's going to happen. This is uh, you're driving in Australia. That was a narrow. Crispy. Well, that was a close one, wasn't yeah. it? Crispy's from the US. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> That was crazy. So good, you're checking your mirrors and stuff, like being very aware of your surroundings. So that height and awareness is what's going to... This is my old driving instructor, by the way, guys, Wayne. Oh, wow. That was my driving instructor from when I got my license no back way. when I was 16. <laughs> He's still around, mate. RACV. Doesn't put his headlights on. Um, anyway, so... <laughs> come on, Wayne. It's like a dig. So there, mirror brake coming up. Good. So remember not to block the intersection and yes. slowing down early. Why do we check? This is such a bad place it to cross. Be keep clear. This is such a bad place to yes. cross. Look at this. Yeah. Now they're turning in. Yep. And they Yep. And then there's going to be another head-on collision there with the Yaris. Such a oh, and then they're going to. So it. if you're a pedestrian, guys, just remember this: crossing at the corner of an intersection is is very dangerous. Move up further. Oh, don't block the intersection. Okay. Everyone's in a rush. Everyone's always in a rush. Thank you to whoever clipped that. Yeah, all right, mirror gas so we can start to move. Because yeah. they, yeah, that's fine. So you can fit up across the intersection, easy. No, you can put, they can post links, turn right. People can post links, it's okay. As long as, as long as the links are um, suitable, yeah. Um, so what? So again, why do we check the internal mirror before braking, Tom? Um, check the internal mirror before braking uh, to check if the car, the, the car's speed behind us as well. We don't want um, another car to collide um, yep. in our rear as well. 
So we're checking where they are. What are they they doing? Are they they distracted? Are they on the phone? Yes. Could they rear end us? Could they rear end us? You control the road user behind you. Yes. The average road user. I think that's something that I fail to do. Yeah. So again, scanning ahead, no rushing, all good. Red arrow. So this one, you get a, 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 a turning arrow or. What could happen to that arrow? Uh, the arrow could disappear and then yeah. we can move forward. Exactly, into the so we get the, section. Correct. The solid, which means we can move up and then we can turn. With this, uh, with that internal mirror braking, what I meant there by you control the road user behind you, yes. the average road user will follow your lead. Yes. So if you accelerate hard, they what are they going to do? They will accelerate. They'll probably accelerate hard, they'll follow you yes. quite quickly, and then suddenly you might have to slam the brakes control them so that's why we check the internal mirror before braking we go all right this driver's a bit close i'm going to slow down earlier i'm going to slow them down earlier yes you can control them so we have a solid green so so we've correct a green arrow green arrow sorry so what does that arrow mean that arrow means that we uh have right of way so that so so we can go with priority go with priority uh we don't have to give way Um, way. fyi for the chat and for yourself (laughs) absolutely no one has a right of way on the road okay yeah yeah um I actually forgot. I should have put a link in there, but I've got a blog post about giving way, yeah. and that we that we shouldn't be saying right of way. Right of way is a very is a poor use of language on the road, um, and we shouldn't be so talking it, about so it's priority. Yeah. Because right. what you got to understand is, if you're saying someone has right of way, that means at all times you must stop for them. So, for instance, if you're turning left at an intersection, and a pedestrian's about to cross the road, you have to give way to that pedestrian on the road you're entering. Right when you're turning left or right. However, give way means slow down, stop if necessary to avoid a collision. So you slow down, you judge what the pedestrian's gonna do. If they don't step out onto the road, they're not a danger of collision, you can go. Yes. However, if they have a right of way, you have to stop all, at all times. Okay. Does that make sense, yes. the difference? Yes, that makes Traffic sense. light, turn left. So we start to prepare. Excellent, mirror, mirror, and head check, blind spot. Excellent, good to see you doing that as well. Still your head checks and awareness um so we're going to push into carlton guys into the inner city so let's just slow down a little bit more yeah get that um and now cyclists guys cyclists are uh, are here they're here to stay they're going to be around they're more vulnerable it's just about there you go she looked back good on her good Good on her that's what cyclists need to do look back make eye contact before they decide to make a move um another key one tom is identifying speed limits so you, yes. do you know what the speed limit is on this road um i'm pretty sure it's 60 but i'm going to keep it at 50 due to the fact that i can't see any so speed default sign. yeah good so default speed limit if you yes. don't see a speed limit sign but what i want you to start doing um for that the, yes. the tactic is enter a new road eyes up where's the speed limit because normally yeah. it's on the corner of the road yes and the corner of the street and, and it could or, be or, or, or you well. could yeah Scan ahead, you might Scan see ahead. the speed limit sign up a bit ahead. So starting to. <laughs> so crispy, you. Ca- I think you might have been. You've popped into the stream a bit late. Tom is actually an ex-student. He's a full licensed driver now. Um, he's been driving for quite some time, but he started with me when he was 16 on his learner permit. Yes. So remember, motorbike length yeah, distance. Motorbike Excellent. Point. We're not blocking the intersection. No. Beautiful. Yeah. So a lot of what Corny has taught me has changed uh, in those years. So this guy's turning right. Yeah, that's fine. So we've given him the space. That car coming out. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, Hans, we've got it. We've all got a shared responsibility. Whether we're a cyclist, good mirror brake, slowing, giving it. uh, Just so this is the thing with traffic, guys. We've got to accept the traffic. We're not going to go anywhere. We've got to just take it easy. We've got to chill. There's no point trying to get in front. So we just cruise. Uh, you cruise, you put on the music, put on a podcast, whatever. Exactly. Nice, Crispy. Well, we'll be on again at 2 p.m. Uh, so what's that? In about three hours. And uh, we'll be on again with a learner permit driver. So a current student that I have. So like I said, Tom is an ex-student. He's a full licensed driver. He's been driving for quite some time. Good. And we'll go back to the intersection. So Tom was involved in a collision during his, uh, when you're on your full license? Yes, yeah, yeah full so, license. So we're gonna go back to the intersection where Tom had the collision. This is a, uh, a refresher driving lesson for Tom um, and to help him again, you know, feel comfortable and confident in his, his knowledge and skills. And like Tom said, he learned with me a long time ago when he was 16 and I was just fresh into the game of 
driver instruction. So my instructions, my co my teachings were, were much different, um, a little bit different here and there. I mean... Well, you don't know as much yeah, as you do now. I know so yeah, much more now. So I've been you know through so much more, so much more experience, more experience yeah. as an instructor. Um, I've been through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of students. So just be careful with the acceleration towards. Yes. Yes, good. So with, with intersections and traffic with traffic lights, even though, even fast. though, yeah, so remember the speed limit's not a target. So just be yes. mindful when you're coming, approaching the intersection, not to be accelerating, like there's a, there's a certain point where you don't want to be accelerating through line. it, yep. just in case the lights change, in case yes. someone tries to run the, the, the light, or, or, or sorry, turn, so turn that, in front of you. Yeah. That defensive. That defensive yeah. driving. So it is lift, deacceleration, shadow brake. Yes. Uh, then back on the gas pedal as you're sort of maybe mid intersection or so for instance here yes. off the gas shadow braking yes. as you come up closer maybe back on the gas feel the car as well yes. uh, Tom 60 speed 60 is there great so feeling the vehicle is really important driving is all about feeling try and scan ahead, Scanning ahead is braking, before yeah. the Mazda in front of us look ahead of it through its windows yes. yeah and then you can see what's happening up ahead yep. this distance is fantastic so guys I say three seconds from the vehicle in front, normally 60 kilometers an hour and above. Because <laughs> I'm a horrible driver, but he's not. He, uh, Crispy, there's no strict laws here. In fact, Australia is absolutely. Australia is absolutely pathetic when it comes to licensing. Uh, I, I will be honest in my opinion there. It's an absolute joke here. It's very simplistic. It's very simplified. So what what Tom is, is look, Tom has had his license. He learnt with me and getting refresher driver training here is, is, is really important for full license drivers. And I've expressed that as well. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and he's expressed that as well. He's asked for it. Especially um, driving in Victoria. Especially, yeah, and after having a collision, yes. he's, he's wanted it. Thank you. <laughs> Just nice. So we're going to turn right at the traffic light and into yes. the right lane. Into now again right with lane. these ones, don't rush it. Also, you've got to check over and see. Look at the inter. Yeah, but no, but we've got a, a, an arrow. Yes. So we've got priority. We don't have to give way to pedestrians. Yes. Obviously, make sure they're not doing the wrong thing. But this is what I mean. It's yes. yeah. Checking. Yeah, it's gonna. There's no point in rushing it. Yeah. I see. Just curious. Yeah, crispy. Look, I. I People should refresh every year, every couple of years or whatever. Just take a one hour. <laughs> uh, Hans, you know Jenna Rufus is my sister. She was on the 12 hour uh, live stream for um, the world's greatest shave Australia. because Jenna is, uh, suffers from leukemia. Who... Who was that? That's what taxis are for. I wouldn't step foot in a taxi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> most of them are, uh, are not great at uh, what they do in terms of driving. They're, they're always quite, quite, quite in a rush normally. Um, they'll do anything to get in front. I mean, this is. I'm Definitely. talking about the average. They're not all like that, but I, I, you know, you just you do see it. I see it a lot. So intersection is blocked. Yes. See. Yeah, so we don't. We want to can't be turn in, even if we get a green arrow. This cause, is what I mean. Cause a, a we're block probably gonna, yeah, and we're probably going to get beeped. But you you, you have bad. to you have to stand your ground. Yeah, you have to stay 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 seated. Impatient. It's too bad. Unlucky. Yeah. It might move. Have a look at that. It's just so busy at the moment. This is a Saturday, guys. Saturday at eleven a.m. Look at this traffic. This busy. They're they're controlling this though. There's a camera up there. Okay. So it's moving. Okay. If you I should be alright. Yeah. Right lane. Right lane. Right lane. I'm only going to watch a Blues game. <laughs> so oh, really, Rue? Right. What about visiting me, mate? Keeping right. So, yeah. right lane. Now, there was... Did you see the speed limit? It was 40. Uh, 40. It was 40. Yeah. So, keeping right. Now, this is... Guys, this is a 40 right. kilometer hour speed limit. Yeah, oh, watch her. See, how, see how quickly? Yeah, very exactly. Because yeah. they don't see the line. Yeah. So this is a 40 km hour speed limit that applies from the beginning of the sign to the length of road until signed otherwise. So motorbike lens. That looks good. 
how are we doing on battery guys they're pretty good it's not overheating nah because the air's on it shouldn't overheat good my mirrors when moving off is really good scan ahead have a look at what's going on great it's a very narrow um, road as well it is so the key here is just keeping right using the yellow line as your guide yes. if you stay next to the yellow line you'll be fine you won't hit the curb yes you'd have to drive onto yep good work so don't assume they'll turn and yep. then back on it excellent so keeping yep near that yellow line again so we'll push into cars and just for a yeah i know there you go so this is the kind of stuff that needs to be policed at Victoria Police, by the way, failing to indicate, not keeping a sufficient distance. Because if he was to the, break, yeah. if he was to immediately break, then I wouldn't have enough time. Well, and also it's just, it's the law, it's rude, they cut us, cut you off. Yeah. Yes, Crispy, we're using a GoPro Hero 10. Yeah, the quality is amazing. <laughs> uh, the only we're streaming off of a 4G hotspot here, and sometimes it, it doesn't. Um, uh, you know, you get drops and stuff in in the connection because Australian internet is rubbish. What do you What do you do? Um, but it, for the most part, it runs quite well. It's good. So, all right. At the traffic light, turn right. So this is a tough one. Oh, sorry guys, I've got to focus up. I, I might miss some questions. Ask them again after a task is done. So we're doing a task right now. It's a right turn over a multi-lane road with tram lanes. Yes, so, so we're giving way to trams. Exactly. Right. So we're giving way to trams. If there's no trams, we can move up. So you can move up if there's okay. no tram. Yeah. So no approaching trams, no problem. Now, can you see? I cannot see. Right signal, keep it on. Moving up. All right, maybe get through, seek your gap. And don't rush it, just hold. Yep, so yeah, I can see a car coming. Just chill. Yep. All good. So now we're just going to sit here talk qu quietly until it will chill till it's safe. No rush. If you can see it's safe, come in. Yeah, right lane, nice and gentle. Excellent. Easy duck. Again, no rush. When it's safe, we'll change to the middle lane. Yep. MCG. MCG. Well, next time, Rue, you come down, you're visiting me, mate, all right? Uh, and at the traffic light, we'll turn left. So you'll need to yes. make another lane. Yep, excellent. Great to see. So you're coming over. So that's, even though there's no lines, it's still a lane change, considered a lane change. Yes. This roundabout is controlled by traffic lights. When I was driving around, guys, and it, it was, wasn't. and I was 18, yeah. this was not, there were no traffic lights at this roundabout. People just, just did it themselves, just tackled it themselves. It was pretty, pretty intense. Mm. <laughs> there's a, there's I'll a similar, pick you up from the airport route. Yeah. Similar roundabout in Coburg. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I think Sussex. So. Good. So, the left lane. Yeah. Now, what we're going to do, and I hope my dad is watching because my dad works for Yara Trams. Uh, Zach, maybe get dad over here. So, what's happening? Good. So what was happening there? So, it's merging to a, a 4 1 lane. 4 1 lane. Zip so, merge. Zip um, merge. We must mirror signal head mirror check. Signal now, head the, fun, the funny thing there, Tom. Yes. Hang on. <laughs> Welcome to Australia, mate. Yeah. <laughs> and the traffic light will turn left. The traffic light will turn left. That would have been hectic without lights. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been pretty crazy. So with the zip merge, um, yes. there's no lines on the road. So the road yes. is two two cars wide, so it's two lines of traffic. And you're forming one lane. So if you're in front, so green arrow. If you're in front, um, the car behind has to give way, right? Yes. However, when it's a lane ending, so your lane's ending and there's broken lines, you have to give way. Okay. Does yes. that make sense? Yes. But a merge is, uh, the zip merge there is without lines on the road. Now, what was the speed limit when you 40. entered? Yeah, okay, good. It was creeping over slightly. That's okay. Yeah. Um, at the traffic light, we'll turn right. Okay. So, in this situation, you don't have to give way to the tram. Yes. You see the tram's on a red T. Yes. Doing a slow down and take it easy. Remember yeah. to pop in next to that line. Yes. How's it looking? Uh, I think that's clear. Yeah, you can see through their windows. You can yes. see it's their right lane, nice and gentle. Speed limit on entry. 40. Sorry, Crispy, we missed that. Keeping right. 
So we're going to go do a difficult turn over the tram tracks um, to show it off and, and, and the difficulty of it and yes. the fact that tram drivers need to be empathetic towards the situation because it's we can't see them when we're trying to turn onto the tracks. Yeah. We're going to go back shortly. Okay. Good. So look, you can get in front of the bus if you yeah. can do it safely. If you can't, maybe back off and stay back. Yeah, he needs to turn, go accelerate. Yeah. Just gently. See, he's backing off. Okay. Because... You either slow down and get in behind them, just be mindful you're going over speed limit a little bit. Yeah. Um, you either slow down and get in behind them or, or, or reach forward. And the traffic light, turn right. If um, uh, moderator, uh, if my brother moderator can answer that question, that'd be nice. Slow down, get pop into the, yeah, so we want to go right of, right, center, right of center before the center of the intersection because you've got that space to be able to do it. Yes. That's awesome. Okay, right lane. Yep. Excellent. So we're going to finish off the stream shortly after we do this turn. So going straight, excellent. Yeah. So 50. 50, great. And remember you can't, well, it was 50 when we entered anyway. Yeah. And the traffic light turned right. Okay. So remember the speed limit applies from the beginning of the sign. So if it's a lower speed limit yeah, so beforehand, be yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can't do the speed limit until you uh, get to the beginning of the sign. Good, so pedestrian, but if you yeah. see you can go after her, it's not a problem. You don't have to wait. Good, you've got another pedestrian. Excellent, yes. plus the cyclist. So we've got a hold here. We can't push in because we'll block yes. the position. Great. That was excellent. There you go. That's all you have to do. It's just about being aware, being being patient, taking it easy. Most of the, the key here, Tom, is is seriously, patient. it's just yeah. patient. Definitely. And I, I say it all the time. And like, I, I do get I do get annoyed and impatient. I think that's something drivers. that I, that I yeah. need to change as well as patience. Exactly. And, um, I, and it, it, it drives me pun intended insane people piss yeah. me off a yeah. lot on the road yeah. but you have to control yourself and Definitely. and just just chill it's and like laugh a lot of ego laugh as well. at them um exactly Does this vehicle have pedals fitted in the passenger foot correct crispy i've got a, a brake and an accelerator on my side which i haven't touched the whole time because tom is in full control he's doing really well i don't have to do anything but later on crispy and like i said in a couple of hours in three hours we'll be doing another driving lesson live and that will be with a learn it permit holder. Um, and that is someone who's been learning with me currently is my current student uh, as a learner driver and he's doing really well. Uh, but but the, 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 we, we're, the live, these live driving lessons, two different, completely different drivers, two completely different drivers. That was Falcon's question actually. Oh, sorry, Falcon, sorry. At the traffic light turn right, oh, my apologies. So when we're doing it with Gavin, with the yeah. learner permit holder, yes. you will sit in the back and, and address chat and okay. just let me know what people are saying. Yeah. We won't have it on the TTS because it's too distracting. Too distracting, yeah. For a learner. No worries. Driver. I can just relay it. Control myself, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> what my little finger is for. <laughs> it's just I'm unsteady. Control myself. You've got to be careful with that, though, because you don't want to uh, yeah, provoke. Last time I noticed your foot position. Yes. You don't... You don't want to provoke people, uh, Rue, as well sometimes. You've got to be careful. So, there will be Tom 1 and Tom 2. Tom 1 and Tom 2. So, well, Tom Thomas is our first driver for this first driving lesson. He's a full licensed driver. The second driver will be Gavin, who is my is a current student with me and is a learn it permit holder. Good, so coming up, giving way. So get into a good position as far as you possibly can. Yeah. Moving up. Now, defensive driving would state keep your wheels straight when you're, but we're not, we can't. Yeah. Yes. Um, you can turn away. So you could turn, you know, left, yeah. keep, keep your steering to the left. So if you get hit from behind, traffic light turn left. So slow down and get in there early. Now you can drive 50 meters in a bike lane. You can drive in 50 meters in a bike lane to get your position in the other lane. No problem. If there's no cyclists. Um, sometimes, yes, they get nervous. Yeah, Tommy Gun. <laughs> so, guys, roundabouts. The rule is in Victoria. What's the rule? Do you remember, Tom? Uh, I give way to a vehicle that's within the roundabout. Already inside, already yes. Inside already the inside the roundabout. The give way to the right rule does not exist in Victoria. And I'll explain it shortly after we do this turn. And then we're going to finish up the stream because we're battery a battery's about to die. At the end of the street, turn right. Yep. So we're turning right. Remember your mirrors on approach. And what do we need to do here? Stopping fully, before the white yeah, line. Yeah, fully, fully stop. stop. So white line disappears. Fully stop the vehicle. 
So key here, Tom, is trams. trams Having a look yes. for trams first. If there's no trams, we're going to push up onto the tracks. Take it easy, take it slow. Oh, well. So when the traffic's clear on the right, you can see a tram, they're going the other way. You can move onto the tracks. Slight angle, so move up onto the tracks, yep. All the way, in between the lines, in between the lines. And if it's safe, come in. Right lane. Yeah, great. Gentle, gentle. All good, no rush. Okay. So you can utilize the tracks. You can move on to the tracks in between the lines. Yes. Now guys, the reason why I did that turn, and we'll turn right at these lights as well, Tom. Okay. The reason why we wanted to do that turn is because on the right of us is a blind corner and on the left of us is a blind crest. And you cannot see a tram coming. Good, yeah. so you don't have to give way to the tram. You have a look, you can move in with yeah. it next to the line. Yeah, push up on the angle. If it's safe, commit. Look okay. for your pedestrians. Yeah, pedestrians. Yeah, and when it's safe, be careful, don't rush. So they're turning. Turn. Other cars behind were quite far away. Yes. We'll do the turn again. Good defensive driving there. The traffic light turn right. Excellent. So key here is you've Ooh. got the you've got the the tram lane. You know there was a tram coming, but if you can go, yes, not a problem. And you can move up halfway all the way up there, and not block the tram behind. Do you know what I mean? Yes. yes. Yeah. Sorry guys, we are I'm probably missing a bit of chat, but we will check it after when we're finishing up the live stream um, at the traffic at the roundabout turn yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. So again, there's no vehicles inside, but there's a cyclist who's entered first. It is technically first in best dressed, but we need to be careful of that. So, you know, people from the right hand side, they'll come flying in, yeah. they'll come flying up. So they're a, they're a danger, they're a hazard. You're not necessarily giving way to them, you're reacting to them being a hazardous road user, yes. right? And creating a hazardous situation. At the end of the street, turn right and into the left lane left this lane. time. Okay. So right and left lane. So take this a little bit easier. Yes. Come up and, and, and let's have a look for the trams first. Again, blind corner on the right, blind crest on the left. We cannot see if trams are coming around. This little this. kid yeah. should not go in front of us, but he will. All right, edge forward a bit. Give him, show him what you're doing. Yeah, he's waiting. Hold back and wait till the... So we've got cars coming from the right, guys. We can't see any approaching trams, can we? Can you see any trams, No, Tom? can't see any trams. No trams? Moment. Okay, when it's clear on the right, move into the middle. Slight angle, take it easy, move up in between the yellow lines. Yep. And if it's safe, commit so, left lane. Yep, left lane. So like guys, cars. sometimes what happens there is you end up having to stop in the middle of, on the tracks in the middle because cars come from the left or vehicles come from the left. Let the lights turn no left. Indicators. Yep, and that's a learner as well. Yep. No indicator, great. Left, left lane, take it easy. Pedestrians, yeah. Yep, check pedestrians. Great, and at the traffic light, turn left. So turn slow down. Yeah, for the acceleration, slow down more, slow down more. Okay. So you can get your position, exactly. Because okay. you want to get a nice positioning here. Carefully, yes. yeah. Yeah, so just be mindful of that and the yeah, acceleration. Just, just not to be too heavy on the gas. Yes. A bit more gradual, a bit yep. more gentle. So just take it slow, watch your corner, we don't want to no mount it. Yeah. Beautiful, no pedestrians, excellent. And see the little white car there? We'll do a reverse parallel park. Actually, we can't, sorry, uh, it's a driveway. Yeah. Um, so at the end of the street, turn left. Okay. We'll probably, uh, I do need to do parking with you as well. Yes, reverse parallel parking is one that I yep. not as confident with. Check the bike lane, yeah. Good. Hey, Drift, what's going on, my man? How you doing? See this white van, Tom? We'll yep. do, oh, it's disabled parking. Okay, that's right. So guys, always looking out for parking. Uh, look at the signs. Can you put legally park there? It's all right, keep going straight. We're gonna finish up the stream shortly, but we're gonna do a park before we do it. Yep. Um, so just continue and we'll, we'll um, I'll show you where, where we'll go. It's just be mindful of this car, try not to follow them what they're doing. See how yes. you just naturally yeah, started actually. to follow what yeah. he was doing? Yeah. Yeah. That's what happens. It's okay. They're trying to find a park as well. Slow down. Left signal on. Next to this van. Mirrors. It's a driveway. That's alright. We're going up there. Mirrors. I'm going left. And we'll go left at the okay. end here. So make sure we... Left into the far right lane. Tom's doing fantastic drift. He's a full licensed driver. Just having a bit of a refresher 
Refresher driving lessons, speed limit. See what, what, what I mean? Too, too quick on the gas. Yeah. Next street, turn right. That's all right. That's all right. So we can position in here, yes. a bit on an angle, pointing towards the street we want to enter. Yeah. It's fine. People behind have to wait. Yeah. We could have gone in and positioned yeah, straight and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we have to do these turns all the time. So we're just giving way to the opposite traffic. So that car hasn't got his indicator on, but he's probably going to turn. Yeah, you've got to be going, like, yeah. Actually, no, he's going right. Ma we don't know. God, don't yeah, yeah, can't right. See. Maybe you can't see. It looks right. like he's. He's not. He's not turning. Just his, his positioning. Wheels. His positioning. So prepare, nice and gentle. Very nice, beautiful. Oh, the old Falcon there. Could have done the park there. But you can keep in the middle here. It's fine. It's not really wide enough for two lines of traffic. Okay. See the white BMW? No, we can't do it because no stopping. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Give us a park. Know, there was one back there. This is auto, but I teach manual as well, Drift. Uh, I don't have a manual car at the end of the street, turn left. Yeah. So what I do is, yeah, always checking left mirror before moving left, coming yes. up, doing what you need to do here legally, and then rolling forward, checking for pedestrians, mirror, head check, and scale bikes again, remember? Yeah, spikes, yeah. Can you please send me tips and send it to me on laptop, please? Okay, Jenna, I will do. At the roundabout, we'll make a U-turn. Okay. Have a look at what's happening here, Tom. On the ground. Uh, give way. Mirror head check. Mirror head check. Okay. Guys, what do you reckon oh, people... The yeah, the cyclists are meant to ride in the middle. What do you reckon uh, okay. they do? They don't. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> so I teach people manual in their own vehicles drift. Um, because I, I, it's too costly to have two vehicles. Uh, as a driving instructor, it's just... The, the business for manual isn't there. So, but I have people come to me, they've got their own manual vehicle, I just teach them in that, which is totally fine. <sighs> they took the spot. There's, oh, there's one there. <laughs> reverse parallel park. Oh, uh, that's all right. Keep going straight. There's plenty. There's plenty around. Okay. We want to do it in between two cars as well. So, just here, we're going to make a U-turn, Tom, but you need to do a square turn and have a look at where you need to position the car. Yeah. yeah. So, in Victoria and Melbourne, we've got a lot of these traffic islands, median strips, they split up the road. So very yep just take it easy because you got the curbs on your side yes, yep. and things remember that um who do we give way to when making a u-turn everyone yep. yeah all vehicles and pedestrians we're safe pull over into the bike lane there's a gray toyota camry there good and we're going to park in between the gray toyota camry and the black um uh nissan. this nissan yeah. freaking x-trail okay so this one here so pull up next to it mirror to mirror tom about okay, an arm's mirror, length away arm's and keep length. the vehicle parallel excellent okay. great cool so let's hope the camera lasts. Uh, it is about. So yes. our rear tyres are behind this seat, yes. right? Yep. And what we want to do is we want to get that section of our vehicle, which is behind our seat. Yep. I'm just going to turn this down. So we want to get our rear tyres just behind the back of this vehicle. So our rear yes. tyres, where they start. So we need to push back, push back just behind. And I'm going to get the, um, I'm going to use the camera here. Okay. To, to, do, to do this as well. Guys, we're going to take this off so I can show you the positioning that I'm talking about here behind. So the rear, we're looking at this and we're, this, you can utilize the, um, the pillar here sometimes, but what, what we want to recognize here is not every vehicle might have that pillar and the, what we want to go by is where our rear tires are. So understanding that our rear tires the arch, the rear tires are behind this seat. So move this section of our vehicle just behind the parked vehicle. All right, so getting into reverse, Tom. Okay. And we're going back, getting that positioning. Once you've got your rear tires behind this vehicle, stop the vehicle. Stop. Yeah, how's that look? You happy with that? You could probably go a little bit more yeah. so that this section is just behind. Excellent. Okay. Beautiful. Perfect. All right, now what we want to do, Tom, is we want to turn the steering wheel. Yeah full lock left i've got a cyclist coming and before you do that checking mirrors of yeah, course making sure it's safe we just don't want to move the car but you, you obviously you could do a full lock left okay, if you wanted lock. so full lock left 
Excellent. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to move out to a two o'clock position. Yep. Um, so for going back, so two o'clock, 45 degrees. So 12 down here, two over here. So 12 and two. Two? Yeah. Okay. All right, That's good. So 12 down here, yep. 12 p.m., 2 p.m. here, okay. probably a little bit more. And see there, that's great. Okay. So now what you need to do is judge your distance in the mirror from the curb. Are you far or close? What do you reckon? I'd make a judgment. All right, so we're far. Yes. So we need to straighten up our wheels. So a half circle back, great. And we're gonna roll back straight, okay? Till we get a bit closer to the curb. So use that mirror, utilize that side mirror. Yep. So we're a bit closer now, so probably, let's give that a go. Let's give it a try. Okay. Now we wanna turn which way? Right, yeah, full so lock right, full lock all the way right. to the right. Fantastic. Now you guys, there's nothing wrong with putting your left mirror down to yeah, see the curb. Yeah, it. go for it. No problem. Put it down. Let's have a look at it. Yep. Okay. So I can okay. See the curb. Yep. Exactly. Now you can be more precise. So if you feel like you want to get closer, straighten up the wheels on the angle. Exactly. Don't turn left, but straighten. Great. Yep. And we're seeing the car behind us as well, guys. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, but Tom's looking in the internal mirror, which is fantastic. He's judging his distance in the side mirrors as well. And you can see there, we're coming in. We're not too close to the curb, nice and parallel. So to get the car parallel, we utilize the mirror and the body of the car. You look yes, at the body, the body. and yeah, recognize, line doing. that up with the curb yeah. and you're good. Now have a look at your space in front. So I can Maybe you want to move forward. Yeah, straighten up and about a recycling bin. So I always say a big, like a, a large recycling bin. Uh, yeah. in distance. Woo! Cool. Nice work, man. And then readjust your mirror. Fantastic. Perfect. Okay. And then Guys, how good was that, Tom? That was awesome. What, how, so, it. how did that go for you? How do you feel after that? Um, definitely, uh, it was a great refresher. Um, I think it, I think the, the biggest thing for me was um, judging my acceleration. Um, knowing the speed limits when entering a new uh, street. Yep. Um, gradually, um, you know, getting on the gas and, and braking. Yeah. Uh, gradual braking as well when turning left um, into a bike lane. Yeah. All that. Uh, yeah. But that was, yeah, really good. Yeah. Just taking it a little bit easier. Taking it a bit easier, slower, um, well, not in a rush. Uh, I think that's, I think everybody just feels like you're in a rush majority of the exactly. time. Exactly. Um, and I think it's, a big thing is um, intimidation as well on the road. So like you said before, is controlling the driver at your rear and not getting intimidated by the driver as well because yeah. you're controlling them. Don't, so one thing that I always say to my students is don't sacrifice your safety for the convenience of others. Yes. Never sacrifice. Now, you know, these. if something happens and goes down, you, you, you're in your car, lock your doors, Keep yourself locked in uh, if, if there's a road rage incident or anything like that. So make sure we turn the headlights off, sorry, before turning the headlight, the light, the, the engine off. Uh, yep. Turn the car back on, but not started, just so we have the air on, because it does yes. get hot in here. Yes. But guys, that is it for Tom's lesson. Um, yeah, thanks for participating, Tom. Nah, full, thank like, you for having me. Yeah, again, Tom is a full licensed driver. He um, learned with me when he was 16 and uh, still got his peas <laughs> with, with me and they yeah. were always still learning and I was a completely different instructor when I was when yeah. you were 16 I was just coming into the industry you were my test subject yes I know yeah <laughs> <laughs> we'll chuck this back on here guys and uh, I'm gonna just quickly go through the chat I'm gonna grab the laptop out of the back and we'll have a quick chat guys okay. can you unlock the car top? Uh, yep Oh. Thanks for the stream, <laughs> so uh, we'll just quickly go through a couple of your um, about the chat damn spot on hold on a second guys we'll just have a quick look at what we might have missed uh, thank you oh I don't know about this nightbot thing uh, SJR Falcon stop spamming emotes Sorry about that, Falcon. We've just had a Nightbot come into this lately. Utes, are they tail happy? <laughs> they are. Drift, if you're still there. The closest thing I was to the Mark 1 Caddy. Speedy, a Nightbot did it. No surprise. Surprisingly there, they aren't. And I'm not sort of. Parallel parking is average driver's you nightmare. I can't teach parallel parking. I can just do it. Um, 
perfection, nice hat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Rossi. Rossi. The Rossi. The Rossi. <laughs> Your mum's there, well done. Oh, yeah, so much. Uh, Tommy. Thank you. Uh, when doing a HR license, you have to reverse around a corner. They actually do that in the UK, I believe, for the drive test, just for standard, like what this kind that? of driving. So I have to reverse, reverse around, around a corner, corner, and your rear wheels aren't allowed to be further than six inches from the curb. Wow. Okay. Uh, well said, woot woot, Tom. Well done, Tom. Daddy Crude. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the That's stream, it. Crude. No worries, Falcon. Don't you love when someone is just sitting at the lights and it's green and there's nothing in front of them, so you have to honk the horn. <laughs> so many people are distracted these days on the road drift, aren't they? They're, they're, they're really just, yeah, they're really distracted. So, Tom, that's what it looks like with the license in the corner. Yeah, that's great. Which is really, really that's, cool. So, we'll fantastic. have that for Gavin as well. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and I actually, I could smile in my driver's license, which is great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> usually, usually you it's just your not uh, smile. Thanks, Aunt Yvonne. Um, so, what what um, what I want to just talk about with the reverse parallel park then, guys, quickly before the, the, the camera dies, is the What's fact that pe driving instructors on drive tests, they, they do it very very simplistic sorry driving instructors will um will uh will do it uh very simplistic so they'll go on a one o'clock angle and then they'll come back really really far and then yeah. they'll go really forward because on the drive test the criteria is seven meters so you can wow. do the reverse parallel park in seven meters so they do it really simply simplistic they do it really easy so you just yeah. back up real far and then, okay, go and then go forward what we did was more realistic and it helps you to understand it for reverse parallel parking between two cars. Yes. Uh, Crispy just wants to know about, not. Uh, it's not an accident, Crispy, we uh, call it a collision uh, because it was, um, collisions are, uh, accident implies no one's at fault and uh, collisions, um, you know, we have the ability to avoid collisions yeah. and that's what we're all about here. We're about avoiding, creating collision avoidance, teaching people, coaching people to avoid collisions all the time as much as possible. Um, so basically, Tom, did you want to just talk about that, the collision that happened just real quick? Um, okay, so <clears throat> I was at a major intersection which was on Melville Road and um, Albion Street. Um, I was in the center of the intersection turning right and it was a dual lane road. Um, I had to give way to cars that were uh, coming uh, towards me from uh, the opposite lane yeah and um, the, the lights went amber and then red and I made the judgment that it was clear um, and I had a car that um, went through the amber and I had already committed to the turn and I had I gotten uh, t-boned yeah um, so uh, like I said earlier I was at fault because I have to give way to uh, every car because I'm in the center of the intersection because I'm considered a hazard mm. um, and yeah. yeah so yeah and you was... give way so I guess from this lesson and from your 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 acceptance of what happened and, and understanding it what would you have done what would you do differently now if the same situation arose so um, what I would do differently now is I would wait until there's the complete red mm -hmm. um, on mm. the light and make the judgment uh, to turn uh, yeah because because yeah once once it, it is red yeah like if if that driver was to go through that red yeah then he would he be at fault he would be at fault well yeah I mean they're be, running run, more, they're running the red light then the but red. the yellow is different the yellow so, is different so, yeah. so I mean and also the key there is to understand for all drivers is we don't have to rush the traffic lights if the traffic lights go yellow and they go right uh, red and we're still stuck in the intersection because of cars coming and running the light and doing the wrong thing, it's totally fine. We still have to get out of there. You can't sit in the intersection. Yes, so yes. when the light goes yellow and red, mm. cars coming through, they run the red light, no problem, whatever. It's obviously a bad thing that they're doing, but we yeah. just we just hang tight and we just go when it's safe to go. And like I go, said, I think so. it was like an, another thing of um, like uh, a pressure as well, because you're having cars behind you you've got cars in front of you that are also making a right turn so there's quite a bit of pressure as well um, but I think knowing now is just taking your time don't rush it yes um, assessing the road a lot uh, of people rush traffic lights yeah when there's no there's no necessity to rush traffic lights like yes. I always say to my students because they're like oh, oh they freak out because they're like oh I gotta out. go it's going red it's going lot. red there's a lot it's like that's it's, happening it's cool yeah. man yeah another thing to note guys is that you're not gonna get done by a red light camera um, if you're inside the intersection and it turns red you have to cross the line the thick white line on the red 
because that's how the camera detects it. It detects the vehicle going over the solid line when it's a red light, whereas you're already in the, we're already in the intersection. So, um, guys, we will be back again in, uh, what are we, two and a half hours. Two and a half hours for another live stream. And this will be with a learner permit holder, a current student with me. As you guys can see there in the bottom right corner, Thomas is has a full Victorian driver's license. That's why it's blue. Uh, we just wanted to thank everyone for coming in and yeah, joining thanks. us. Thanks we very want, much. We want this to. We want to do this more often. Yeah. And uh, this is this is a part of it. We um, and I hope that people can learn from this. These types of driving lessons that are live, you know, you, you've learned something as well, being a yeah, full licensed driver. Definitely. And uh, yeah, guys, that's 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 it. We're going to leave it there. Thank you all so much for joining. Big love to everyone. And I really like what Falcon said there about saying that this channel has love the family yeah. feel of this channel, and that is because my family and our family is watching. Yeah. Uh, you can. Tom is my cousin, FYI, and uh, Tom was a previous learner driver with me. So we'll catch you guys later in, in two and a half hours. Thanks, Falcon, and thanks for everyone that joining. Thanks for all Cheers, the questions. Guys. If you have anything uh, you want to query, contact me. You can contact me at this email. I'll just type it in, uh, crewdriving at gmail.com. If you need anything, you want to ask any questions. Um, I had a red line infringement notice. I was in the middle of the intersection stationary. It got dismissed because my speed was at zero. So it has to do with speed as well yeah. then. Um, uh, big Roo. I'm, I look. I uh, don't quote me on that that the line thing, but it, it, I'm pretty sure if you cross over the line, the camera will flash because of that. Because oh, I've seen okay. drivers. Drivers will, you know, when they roll forward. Yes. Yeah. And it's a red light. They've been flashed because yeah, they cross over the line. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, guys, we'll catch you later on the next one. Two and a half hours. Tom will still be with me. He'll be monitoring the chat and and in the back yes. seat on the laptop while we take Gavin out. Our current student, a learner permit holder. I'll manage it as best as I can. <laughs> yeah, you will. No, all good. All right, take care of yourselves, guys. Peace.